Domino's, The Innovators of Pizza, by Kyle Middleton, Alessandro Menino, Nalin Roy, and Samuel Weaver from Coastal Carolina University. Overview, by Eileen Roy. In 1960, Dominic's opened next to Eastern Michigan University. Dominic's was opened by two brothers for just $575. In 1965, the company changed its name to Domino's, and in 1967, it became a national franchise. In 1983, Domino's opened its first international store in Winnipeg, Canada. Currently, Domino's has over 10,000 stores in 70 different countries and is continuing to grow. From 2009 to 2011, Domino's stock rose 233%. This can be credited to the pizza makeover in 2010. In 2010, Domino's responded to complaints of a cardboard crust and ketchup sauce by redoing their pizza from the crust up. The company publicly acknowledged the shortcomings of their pizza and begged for another chance. They changed the recipe for the sauce, crust, and even the cheese used on the pizza. It worked. In 2010 and 2011, Domino's was voted Pizza of the Year by Pizza Today magazine, and the stock is continuing to grow. Diversity by Eileen Roy With stores in over 70 different countries, Domino's embraces the diversity of both its employees and its customers. They want each store to culturally represent the neighborhood it's located in. That is why Domino's started its Delivering a Dream program in 2006 and 2007 to encourage employees to branch out and franchise. This program helps lower level minority team members, usually a general manager, to open their own Domino's franchise through a loan guarantee. For this program alone, Domino's has set aside over $1 million. Domino's is also a member of Minority. Managing Ethics by Alessandro Menino. Domino's Pizza makes sure every year to give back to the community and their customers. It is very important for a company to be beneficially ethical to their stakeholders. Domino states its ethical code in their code of business conduct and, et and ethics for directors, executives, officers, and employees. This is a sign that Domino's does mean well and has good moral ethics. Other than the ethical code in their restaurants, every year, Domino's partners up with different organizations to help people in need, spread a message, or help keep the environment clean. This past February, Domino's Pizza raised and donated over $2.4 million for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. This is part of a partnership Domino's and St. Jude had since 2004 called Thanks and Giving Campaign. Since the campaign started, Domino's has donated over $12 million. Domino raises money for St. Jude by asking customers to donate a dollar or more every time they order by phone, online, or in stores. They also have an advertise an option to text pizza to 50333 to donate $5 to St. Jude. Another way Domino's helps the communities by partnering up with the National Fire Protection Association to deliver fire safety messages. This past spring, Domino's printed fire safety tips onto their pizza boxes to remind people across the country how to keep their homes fire safe. Since Domino's delivers about 1 million pizza each day, this was a great way to spread the message during spring cleaning. In times when the environment is a very important subject in social media, Domino's Pizza joined U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Smartway Transport Partnership, which is an industry that provides a framework to access the environmental and energy of goods movement supply chains. With the partnership, Domino's now has savings of 1.5 billion gallons of fuel, $3.6 billion in fuel costs, 14.7 mmt of carbon dioxide, and 215 tons of oxides of nitrogen, and 8,000 tons of particulate matter. All these changes will help Domino's entrepreneurship, innovation, and strategy by Samuel. Like most corporate success stories, Domino's started out small with just one store in 1960. Now Domino's Pizza is celebrating over 40 years of delivering food, fun, and innovation. Today, with over 100, hundreds of stores, Domino's is the market leader in the organized pizza category and is the top international chain in the country. Domino's Pizza utilizes many strategies to market their food, not simply by managing their television commercials or website, but conceal techniques through the industry to organize and manage the framework of a business.
Domino's Pizza has designed a customer relationship program with direct marketing as a mechanism, as rapidly grew nationally. The strategies, strategies adopted by Domino's are crucial, taking into account their emerging competition, escalating income levels, and altering changes in the customer selection to gain a new customer and increase reoccurring purchases. Domino's emphasizes the priority to recruit, recognize, and retain the best people, deliver consistently high quality food on time, and take care of customers, innovating ways that matter to our team members and customers ensure high image standards at our stores. Domino's creates an executive, executively devoted customer relationship, an effective way of managing business. Direct marketing is an excellent entrepreneurial strategy of Domino's Pizza used to organize and manage the business promotional methods. Domino's Pizza, an uproar of our society, developed as they selected a beneficial and unique market technique that was not being utilized and featured by their other competitors. They chose home delivery as a method to promote their product. Although home delivery was not considered a new movement, this process was found to be extremely successful while requiring little resources. The success was partially due to the guarantee of the 30 minute or less delivery. Domino's exists to fulfill a basic need for customers to provide a high quality, freshly prepared hot meal delivered on time every time. Delivering a freshly baked pizza within 30 minutes is a pretty big challenge. Free delivery, fast service, and delicious pizzas, pizzas uh, created an advantage over other pizza businesses and expansion within the corporation. Their new guarantee is more suitable to staying. If you are not completely satisfied, Quality Control by Kyle Middleton. Focusing on quality is important because it has a chain reaction effect on a business. When you increase quality, it increases reliability, the company can charge higher prices, and it increases productivity. If a company can also lower costs while maintaining a high quality product, it produces much higher profits. This is exactly what Domino's Pizza has been improving for the past couple of years. For example, in 2007, Domino's launched online pizza ordering. In the fourth step of the process, just before the pizza finishes, Domino's implemented total quality management to revamp their operations. The company was flexible in adding new items to their menu. However, increasing quality isn't always what it seems. In this case, Domino's approach to improving the quality of their pizza was develop a new line of pizzas with 40% more cheese and proceed to devise and pay for a $12 million marketing campaign. In September 2011, Domino's launched a new style of gourmet pizza. Domino's CEO Patrick Doyle said, We have never launched anything that showcases, showcases our quality ingredients and craftsmanship quite like ours in pizza. Domino's introduced a new and improved higher quality pizza to compete not only with Papa John's, but also family-owned pizza restaurants. The biggest indicator of Domino's success is their stock price over the past four years. On December 31st, 2007, Domino's stock sold for $11.72. Four years later, on December 26, 2011, the stock sold for $33.95. Domino's was, nearly, was able to nearly triple its value over the four-year time period. That's not to say, however, that they didn't overcome obstacles along the way. On November 17, 2008, there was a point where their stock reached an all-time low of three dollars and three cents. Conclusion by Kyle Middleton. Domino's is a company that truly cares about its customers. The company has a trait that is unique to most successful companies in America. Domino's has the ability to gather information, opinions, and data on their customers and use this as a foundation for making decisions. The company has been around for 52 years and although during that time they have faced many obstacles, they were able to persevere, so eventually they grew. The end. Thank you for watching.